What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, we back here with another video. Hey, man, I told you, man, we still out here grinding. We still out here doing everything we can. But before you do anything, go on and press that like button for your boy. Go on and press that subscribe button for your boy. And you know what else you gotta do? You gotta turn on the post notifications for your boy, please. Now, the footage I'm about to show y'all, some of it got cut out because I was recording this off of my PlayStation 5. But basically, it's a glitch Kevin Durant build. You can see by the title and the thumbnail. Now, when I tried to record it, the beginning part of it got cut out, but just in case, so to make this build, you want to start off on making the build in the Imperial system. If you're on 2K, y'all know the difference between the Imperial and the Metric system. Now, there is a difference. Now, to make a glitch, players with glitch stats, you're going to have to make it on the Imperial build system first. Now, y'all know how to do this. It should be on the Imperial build system if you're already on 2K. But most people just change it over. Now, as you can see, I'm going to the files right now to make the player. Now, if you want to make it, yeah, make it the rebirth. Now, what you want to do is make the build a shooting guard. That's how you make You want to make it a shooting guard. And then you want to go whatever hand, whatever you want to do. Make the build 6-9. No, first no, first off, make it 6-3. First off, make it 6-3. Then you lower, I think you keep the weight at like 200, 205. But oh, you put it up to 220, my bad. But you put the weight up to 220, put the wingspan at seven foot. Then, in order to do this glitch, you want to just max out all the stats for the finishing. Listen, it might sound weird, but you max out all the stats for the finishing, max out all the stats for the shooting, and then max out some of the playmaking stats, and then put the rest on the stamina. This is not that crucial, but just max it out. You see the way I did it? Just follow these steps and you'll be able to do the glitch. Now, you see, I have 36, 29, and 30. This is not the actual bit. This is just how to glitch the system. Now, what you want to do next is you want to put it on, just give them whatever takeover. For this video, I just put it on slash and takeover. Now, as you can see, the build name should come out to as an offensive threat. If it comes out to an offensive threat, that means you are doing the glitch correctly. Now, I really don't post glitches, but hey, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. Now, as you can see right now, I'm going to my settings and I'm changing the features to the Imperial system. I mean the metric system. Now, you wanna go to the metric system since it's already changing your settings. After you switch it over, you wanna go back to the build and now you are going to edit this same exact build. You're gonna go to it, press the rebirth thing, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Go through all that. Go all the way back down and then you're gonna, um, I think you're gonna change the height on it then you're gonna put it to like 2.05 if i'm correct yeah put it at 2.05 then i think you're gonna like lower the weight just a little bit yeah you're gonna lower the weight to the lowest weight you possibly can and then you're gonna max out the wingspan for it now for this you're gonna do the exact same thing max out all of the stats i don't know why 2k ain't found this glitch out yet but if you want to make the build just do what i say now I don't know if they're gonna patch this when this video comes out because this video is gonna come out after patch four. I'm not sure if they're gonna patch this or not. But if they don't, try to make the build before they patch or realize it's a glitch in their system. Because a lot of people are making builds like this, especially in the pro am scene. I know a few people that have made builds like this. Like I said, do the same thing, keep the same takeovers all day. You don't got to change none of that. You just go down and press finish, it's gonna say the same thing again. For, no, now it changes to facilitate finish. My bad. <laughs> If it says facilitate finisher, that means you're on the correct path to doing the glitch Kevin Durant build, and I'm about to show you how to make. So now you back out one more time, you go back to settings, and now you change from the metric system into the imperial system. It does not show it on my screen because my screen pauses and says it's like it stops recording the gameplay. I don't know why it does it, but hey, that's just a PlayStation feature. But now you go back into the same build and edit it one more time. Now this should be the final time you should edit it if you did the glitch right now you can do whatever stats whatever hand it don't matter the shot don't all that don't matter but the position has to be a shooting guard now you see the height is six nine now what you want to do right now is you're going to want to change now y'all see the stats on it. it look crazy now what you're going to want to do is put the weight up just bump it up a little bit you know ain't nothing really changed now y'all see these are the glitch stats for the 6-9. Now you can do whatever you really want at this point. Because now the build is glitching. You can just put whatever you want on it. Max a wingspan. Now, me personally, I'll max my wingspan out. Just because this build can dribble and it can get steals. I mean, if you want to be different, man, this is the most different build you can probably try to get in 2K22 Nation. Now as y'all can see, all the finishing is glitch. Y'all see this. Y'all see the, the glitch work. 
the finishing glitch you can get hall of fame posterizer if you want to but me personally all you need is like silver to go posterizer that's all you really need you see i put my driving like i'm not trying to do too much max out the three-pointer max out the mid range now if you want to use this build for the right too you can too i've known people to use this build for the right now me you see i put my playmaking up just to see if i could get like gold gold bullet passing because that's like an essential key when making builds in any 2k now since they made it a key factor but as you can see, I maxed out my plan making to try to get some dribbling on this KD type build. Now, I did tweak the defense a lot. Because you know me, I'm a defender. He does get Hall of Fame Intimidator. You see this now. He did Hall of Fame Intimidator. Goal Rebound Chaser and Goal Run Protector. Now, I think I tweaked some things around. But you see right now, you don't get um perimeter defense, which is not that good. So, I had to tweak some things. I had to lower just a little bit of finishing. Or oh, I had to change some. Let's see what I changed. Oh yeah, you see how I lowered something and I put the free throw up. Now he has 11 finishing, 23 shooting, 24 playmaking, and 26 defense. So now I can put my defense up to 30 or 31. Now look, this build is crazy. Now I told y'all, man, look at this build, man. This build is crazy. 11 finishing, 23 shooting, 24 playmaking, and 31 defensive, plus Hall of Fame Intimidator and Interceptor. That's crazy on this game because everybody needs that. And it can dribble a little bit if you know how to dribble, if you get the right dribble package. And it can get a contact dunk just a little bit too. Come on, now don't tell me I ain't put y'all on. Now it's big. I ain't put y'all on. I'm putting y'all on. Come on now. Come, look, look, come on now. I'm putting this build look nice. Stop playing with it. If you don't believe me, make the build try out. Let me know how I go. And it gets shot, create, and take over. That's the best part about this build. Now, my friend made a build kind of like this. And he's broken ankles with it. I'm not even lying. I got, if you don't believe me, go to Murder TV Twitch on Twitter. He got a clip of, he posted like the other day. It was a crazy clip. Like, I ain't never seen nobody make somebody fall on a six line play. It was crazy. If you don't believe me, check it out. I told you this Twitter. Murder TV, MXRDA TV, if you don't believe me. But it was crazy. And that's when I said, yo, this build can do crazy things. Now you see, you can change the tackle. You see the ankle breaking shot. Now you see me, I gave him ankle breaking shots. And I also gave him, I think, like lock takeover. Just to like mess around, man. I mean, this build is crazy, man. If you don't believe me, just get it. I'm telling you. You'll be crazy in the program or in the park. Cause ain't nobody gonna, you ain't gonna see nobody coming to the park with this build. This is a unique build. A very unique build. And I gave him extreme clamp. It's a very unique build that a lot of people are not going to use. Oh, I gave him pull-up precision, my bad. Gave him double shot crate and takeover. Now, as you can see, the build that this title comes out to is a two-way facilitator. Now, this build is better than a two-way facilitator. They just gave it a name. Now, you can use this name, and they can throw people off. Like, oh, yeah, he ain't doing all that. Then you turn on your shot crate and ankle break and takeover and snap him. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, they be like, oh, what's going on? Like, your teammates be like, oh, yeah, man, fail. Like, what's going on? That build crazy. I know who put y'all on, Greg. Go crazy. Go crazy. Put y'all on. Let them know. Hey, man, let them know. But as you can see, these are the baddest I would give my player. Hall of Fame Limitless. Like, that's crazy. 6 and 9 with Hall of Fame Limitless and Gold Posterizer is crazy. Well, I gave him gold. Gave gold everything. My bad. <laughs> gave him gold, uh, Limitless, and all that. But I'm telling you, man, if you don't believe me, this bad is crazy. Build is crazy. My bad. But, yeah, he get gold rhythm shooter. He get silver hot zone. Y'all know everybody get Hall of Fame. Stop it. Ain't nothing. Yeah, blinders on silver. Green machine on silver. Green machine does work. That's a slept on underrated badge. A lot of people do not use. But that badge does work in NBA 2K22. Now, he does get silver quick first up. But you can cook up with silver quick first up if you know how to use it properly. Now, you're going to have to be a little nice to use that silver quick first up. But it's possible in this game. And he gets a nice playmaking badge. Even though he don't get ankle break, you can still break ankles with the build. I'm telling you, I've seen somebody do it. You do not need the ankle breaker badge to break people. All you really need is tight handles. Tight handles work sometimes, but don't work all the time. But you can probably break somebody on this build. It's a good chance. Now, y'all see the defense. Look at the defense. Like, this build is crazy, man. If you don't believe the badge count and the Hall of Fame defense on this build, I don't know what to tell you, my boy. And you get gold clamps on this build. Like, what more can't you do? You get all the gold in the Hall of Fame. Nice badges on this build. And it's crazy, man. But, yeah, man, these are the badges I would give this build. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the video. Share with other people. Let them know that your boy Greg go crazy since you. And I'm out, man. Peace.